Hello everyone, my name is Sky, and I have a story to share. And you know, I've kind of made a couple of videos at this point about my good points, about moments that are not me being bad. Well, a little bit of the chaotic gremlin in them, but not as bad as others. And you know, that needs to change. The world must know who I really am. Not really. It's just this story is kind of a sad one, but not too sad. It's more of just someone struggling to come to terms with who they are. This is Love Troubles Part 2, essentially. Um, and in this one, I'm going to talk about the lesbian incident. I've said before that in the first one that I presented as a female for a bit, and in that time of presenting as female, I ended up dating a guy who, he was the sweetest person on earth. So sweet. So amazing. 10 out of 10. I hope he found a girl that loves and adores him. I hope he's happy. He was amazing. I was not. See, while I presented as a girl at the time... I had met someone who was telling me about, like, oh yeah, this is the LGBTQ community, this is what the T stands for, and my brain was like, oh, that, that, that's what we are, that's what we be. And with that, I didn't know what to do. One, I didn't want to hurt this guy by not being what I thought I was being, but also with thinking... Oh, there's things like lesbian and bisexual. Could it be I've liked male and female? Or have I only liked females? Or do I only like non binary It was very, very much like, I don't know where I fit yet. And, and as I've said, I don't have crushes. I never had a crush on anyone. But I didn't know how to tell the difference between platonic and romantic. Because I never had a romantic to compare it to. So I was comparing it to, essentially, platonic love. Um, so, yeah, pl platonically, I loved my best friends, but I, I thought maybe maybe I love love them. And I was struggling with that, and this guy, who was very sweet, who was very kind, we ended up um, talking about it, and I was like, I'm so sorry, we have to break up. It's not you, it literally is not you, it is all me. And we ended up very accurately. I think I won't use that word, but essentially we ended up on good terms. But his friends. His friends were fine. They were being good friends, and they were worried for their friend, and confused on why this girl who was dating him suddenly just did a whole 180. She gave him a Christmas gift, and now she's like, no. And it was like, because he doesn't like you like that he loves you as a friend sorry i wish i had known sooner because his friends started to interrogate me and i get it he was a shy guy and he was very quiet so yeah he needed some strong fierce friends but they were doing it at the wrong time and i was not taking it the right way and i was just so done and I went up to him and I was like, hey, did you tell your friends we broke up? And he was like, yeah, I, I did. And I was like, did you really? And he was like, yeah, why? What's the problem? And I yelled at him that I'm a fucking lesbian. I'm not a lesbian. I don't know if I identify as female. Not my proudest moment. If there is a rock bottom, it was that moment for me. I had just yelled at a guy who had no idea why I was upset. And I had just hurt him. Hurt his feelings. And I apologized immensely after the fact. But obviously we fell out of contact. And I don't blame him for avoiding me. 
fair. I could not apologize enough for that moment. And I felt like it was a good story to share because I'm not perfect. I've gone through a lot and going through a lot doesn't excuse some of the actions I did. It just explains them. And I look back now and I'm like, I am so sorry. Genuinely. So, while being a chaotic gremlin is mostly my personality, I don't want to intentionally hurt people. That's me. Having said all that, I hope that guy, wherever he is, is happy, has a wonderful life, and I hope you have a wonderful life, wonderful day. And goodbye.